Today we're talking about how to set up an effects mix bus here in DaVinci Resolve Fairlight. Send some channels over there and it's going to do a few things to kind of help us out when it comes to working with our audio here in our video. So let's just jump into Resolve and we'll talk about it. So we are in DaVinci Resolve here. I'm in the Fairlight tab right here in Musical Notes at the bottom. Now we want to set up an effects bus for a few reasons here. One reason is if we want the same effect applied to multiple tracks, we can use a bus to do that so that way we can have one instance of the effect and have multiple tracks get sent to that effect now this allows us to only have to make an adjustment one time if we decide we want more reverb or more delay on our effect or something like that so that's one reason why we'd want to send tracks to an effects bus Another reason you'd want to send some tracks to an effects bus is because you're going to have more control on being able to decide how much of that effect is applied to a given track. And I'm going to demonstrate these things in a minute here. And the third reason we might want to use an effects bus is because when we start applying a lot of effects onto our audio clips, as well as our audio tracks, that can become a little processor heavy right on our computer. It can bog things down a little bit, almost like when you're working with VFX for video, it can slow things down and bog things down. So by using an effects bus or an auxiliary bus, we can have one instance of an effect instead of having say three, four, five, eight different instances of the same effect. So there's multiple reasons here on why it's a good thing to use an effects bus. But let me show you first how to create that bus, how to send tracks to that bus, and then we'll show you how we can work with it and make adjustments really quick and really easy. So in our timeline here, I just have three audio clips. I've got three different singers that I recorded uh, multi-track live from my church when I was mixing one Sunday. And I've just got a few bars here of them singing and we wanna add some reverb to it, right? Cause it's sounding a little dry, but do, let me just play it for you real quick. This is what it sounds like before we get started with any effects or any reverb on there. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All right, so a little dry and we want to create uh, some reverb. We want to add some reverb onto those effects. Now, like I said, we can apply it on each individual track, but then we've got three instances of reverb, which we don't want in this case as well as if you were working on a film or something, if everybody's in the same location, you're gonna have the same type of effect, whether it's, you know, a chorus, a reverb, a delay, whatever it might be, they're all gonna be the same. So we wanna set up a mix bus to do this. So the first thing we need to do is actually go ahead and create a new bus. So I'm gonna come up to Fairlight. We're gonna go to bus format. That'll bring up our bus format window. And now we wanna go ahead and add a new bus. I'm gonna rename this, we're gonna call this reverb, and I'm gonna go ahead and make it a stereo track. And you can change the color if you want. I'm just gonna pick. Apricot, that looks good. And then go ahead and hit okay. So now if I open up my mixer a little bit more, if you don't see your mixer right here at the top is your mixer, you see that now we have a reverb bus right here. So we wanna take our three vocal tracks and send them over to our reverb bus. So first let's go ahead and add on our reverb. So I'm gonna to come to our effects right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the plus. We're gonna come down to reverb, Fairlight effects and reverb. So that'll bring up our reverb window. You can make adjustments here, select a preset. I'm gonna select cathedral for now, just so it's got a lot of reverb and we're really gonna be able to hear it here uh, when we get started sending over our tracks. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that. So now we have our reverb bus, right? Right now it's not doing anything. It's just sitting there. If I, I'm just gonna mute my uh, tracks here, but if I play through it, nothing's going to that bus. So we wanna send our three tracks, our vocal one, two, and three over to the reverb bus. Now to do that, if we look in our mixer, we've got bus sends right here, but we also have bus outputs. So what's the difference there? Well, bus output is saying, okay, I wanna send you know, a particular bus out of DaVinci Resolve. And in this case, we don't wanna send our tracks out of DaVinci Resolve. I mean, they already are going out by going to our main bus one, which is our main output from DaVinci Resolve, but we wanna send them over to another bus so that we can apply an effect to them. So to send our tracks over, you can go ahead and click on one of your tracks, come to our bus send section here, and we wanna send it over to the reverb. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit reverb. And we could do that for each one of our tracks here, just send it over to our reverb channel. Now that our channel's being sent over, you wanna actually open up your settings here for your bus send. So click on this little icon in the middle here, and that's gonna open up our bus sends. Now, right now we can see it's turned on, but we don't have any levels going over there. So if you just double click on the little dot there, it's gonna set our levels at zero. And now that track is gonna get sent over to our reverb bus. So I'm just gonna make sure that each one of my tracks here is reset and I'm gonna leave my pan as it is. I'm not gonna change that. So now if I close that and I play through my track here, I'm actually gonna select a range here so we can just loop this and, and watch it play back here. If I use my range tool up here. I can just click, hold and drag, turn on my looping. 
And now if we hit spacebar, we can just loop this over and over again. And I have it muted, but you, we can see that now our reverb track is getting a signal, right? So that's good. We're, our three tracks are getting sent over to our reverb. Now, if I unmute this here, you're going to notice we don't hear the reverb. Check it out. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, so why don't we hear our reverb? I'm going to pull this out a little bit so we have a little extra after our clip so we can hear the reverb ring out. The reason that we don't hear our reverb is because our reverb isn't getting sent anywhere. Our bus right here isn't going anywhere. So we need to actually send this to our main out, which is our bus one. So in this case, we're going to come to the bus output section. We're going to click on the plus and we're going to say bus one. So now we're going to hear our reverb come through. And if I play our clip. So now we hear our reverb, right? But it's way too much, right? It's too strong. So there's a few ways that you can make an adjustment to the reverb here. So you can come into the reverb effect here, click on the controls and adjust your controls right here. But another way that you can do it by using this auxiliary bus is just to work your fader here. So I'm going to play through it again. I'm going to loop this and play it. And I'm just going to start with my fader at zero and I'm going to bring it up to wherever I think sounds pretty good. So check this out. Hallelujah. So by having a effects bus, we can really control that effect a whole lot easier than if we put it on every single track or every single clip, and then you have to go through and edit those one by one and change them. By doing it this way, we've got a lot more control over our effect. There's a lot less processing power that our computer's using by having just one effect on one bus. And if you need the same effect, it, it just works out to be easier and quicker to make adjustments if you need to down the road. Now, another tip to keep in mind here is that when we sent our audio tracks over to our bus reverb, if we take a look at our settings here, I'm gonna open up just a particular track here. The level is getting sent based on the levels in our track, right? You do have the option to send it pre-fader. So if I turn this on, that means regardless of changes I make to my fader here on my vocal channel one, for example, the same amount of signal is gonna get sent over to my reverb bus. So if I just play through this here, and let's say I drop this all the way down, I'm gonna just mute my other two tracks here. And we can play with just that reverb and it's coming over pre-fader. So before I make any changes to my vocal here, now you can do it that way. It depends on your setup and the, the sound and effects you're trying to accomplish here. But if I play through this now and then I bring my original vocal back in, here's what that sounds like. So you can really control that sound and get the good original signal from my vocalist in this case, and then add that reverb on top. And my effects bus is just working with that reverb. So recap and why is it important to use an auxiliary or effects bus for your audio? Number one, you're only going to have to adjust it in one place if you have it on multiple tracks. Number two, you can make finer adjustments using the fader of that effect. The third benefit is that it's just going to reduce some of that processing power on your computer, especially once you start adding in more effects. And you can actually separate out effects into different buses. You can have multiple bus effects if you want. There's a lot of ways that you can set this up, a lot of flexibility that you have, and just a whole bunch of different ways that you can work with your audio by sending it to different buses, doing different things with it. And really, I think that if you're not using buses, you should totally be using them, organize your audio, send things around, and really be able to accomplish the things that you want to with your audio. So if you learned a little something in this video, go ahead and smash that like button, guys. Subscribe if you want more audio tips and DaVinci Resolve tips. With that said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.